Alright, so most probably when you think of Saints Row, you also think of one of the most iconic characters in that game, and that guy is Johnny Gat. Now, this character has been featured in every single Saints Row title, and it's also present in Agents of Mayhem. So, Johnny Gat is one of the most beloved characters from the Saints Row series, and it has been loved by the Saints Row fans even since Saints Row 1. Now, during the development of those games, Johnny Gat also had some differences from its final version. Right now, we're gonna talk about the better version of Johnny Gat, so let's get started. In case you didn't know, in Central 1, the Thirsty Saints were going to wear green as their game color. So, the Johnny Gat better version had green on it, not purple like in the final version. So, uh, yeah, that's one of the main changes. So, yeah, that's um, an interesting change, but it's still pretty cool to see. Now, in Saints Row 2, Johnny Gat went through several changes during the development. First of all, I understand that Johnny Gat needed to be more different from his Saints Row 1 look since Saints Row 2 takes place years after Saints Row 1, and Gat just uh, needed to look differently. Now, of course, these are the changes and there are some interesting changes like from the hair to uh, the uh, beard and also the styling. Yeah, he was going to wear this uh, interesting shirt. So, yeah. In one point in development, he was even going to look bald. So, that's interesting. Yeah, he looks pretty badass either way. So, yes, this is one of the main parts where Johnny Gat just went through a lot of phases during the development. It's interesting to see him looking like that, so, you know, we are used to how it looks in Saints Row 2, and those changes, damn, they look interesting and freaking amazing. Now, regarding Saints Row the 3rd and Saints Row the 4th, Ellie couldn't find any major changes during Gat's development. Just some schemes, but overall, he pretty much looks the same as in the final version of the game. But Johnny Gat Get Out of Hell seems to be pretty interesting. Originally he was going to look like some kind of postal, I assume, type of character who uh, just wears a pretty pretty futuristic suit. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't go out with uh, this concept art. Because it would it looks kind of weird and not fitting for the game. So yeah, this has been all the stages that Johnny Gat went through during the development of the Saints Row games. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to leave a like on it. And also, if you want to win a free Saints Row 2 game on your Steam, make sure to join my giveaway. You'll see a credit, you know, an annotation here and you can click it and you can join the giveaway. Yeah, this has been me everyone and I'll see you at my other videos. See ya! Romanian motherfucker Latino, Romanian motherfucker Latino, fresh as a motherfucking G-O, fresh dope boy with a kilo, eyes are bleeding my smoke, yo, I'm kicking pussy like dojo, low key and no low low, but bring it down like rain, yo. Come to go deep now, slow it, slow it down.